So let's just talk just a moment about Malachi. Really fascinating book of scripture. The last book in the Old Testament. And it turns out that when Moroni shows up, he tells Joseph, I am a messenger sent from God. It's very interesting. The word malach or malach in Hebrew literally means angel or messenger. And in Hebrew, when you put a little I at the end of a word, it makes it the possessive. So this name, Malachi, it actually could have been the name of a prophet or it could be a symbolic name that would, in Hebrew, say, my messenger. And I love how God works with revealing his truth. Well, who is my messenger? God himself is speaking. Who's the messenger that he sends? In this case, it's Moroni. Moroni is a Malach or a Malachi or a Malachi. Sorry, I'm speaking in Hebrew a bit. He's the Malachi for Joseph. Later, Elijah will show up. He also is a messenger. Who are our messengers today? The living prophets. They are the Malachi's that God is saying, these are my messengers that I've sent to you, that if you listen, you will learn about my characteristics so you have faith in me. They're going to invite you to repent and to be baptized or partake weekly of the sacrament so you can have the purging fire of God's Spirit to be with you so that when the day of the Lord comes, whether at your death or Jesus himself has returned, it's a great day for you. Otherwise, it's going to be really terrible. And again, this ties into temples. We sing this hymn, the Spirit of God, like a fire is burning. We go to temples both to fill the Spirit and to do the work for those who have gone on. And this is one of the key things that Moroni reveals to Joseph Smith. He says to him, I'm going to send to you Elijah who will reveal the priesthood so that the hearts of the children and the hearts of the fathers will be turned to one another. Otherwise, the whole earth will be wasted at his coming. Now, I've paraphrased a bit, but it's fascinating that temples are a core element of bringing this all together. And the fire of God's presence, his spirit is there, and the priesthood empowers all of these ordinances so that we can have the earth prepared, either for us departing or for God returning.